Hey everyone, it's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope all is well with you today and thank you for clicking on this pick a card reading. So in this video we're going to be looking at the question yes or no. So this will represent any question you have in your mind that will have a yes or no answer to. So usually these are decisions you're trying to make, especially if it's in a pinch. So I will try to keep the length of this video to a minimum because I know a lot of you are after urgent answers, okay? But I always will go through the energies that I'm picking up on first and then I'll come to the conclusion as to whether it's a yes or a no because this will also help you to know that it's the correct pile for you. Otherwise, you could just flip a coin, okay? It'd be a hell of a lot quicker. Let's get to the pile selection. So all you need to do is choose one of these five cards, okay? Feel free to pause the video here if you need some time. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. You'll also find the link to my website. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that is where you'll find all of the info. Okay, and also feel free to pick as many different piles as you want, especially if you've got multiple questions or even if you want to confirm your question, you could always ask another pile. I have no idea which ones are yes or which ones are no and how many there are going to be because I'm going to do these live with you. So only time will tell, but just go with what you're drawn to. Okay, so let's get into your reading now. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Okay, group number one. Let's take a look at whether this is a yes or a no for you. So I'm just going to get the cards of the surrounding energies, what this question may be about first, and then we'll get into the specific yes or no. Okay, now the first card we have is Unicorn. We've got the number 33 here as well. So this may have some resonance for you. You may have been seeing this number in synchronicity in connection to this question. But it also says success and hope. Freedom, healing, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Now, we've also got the fourth house, the fourth house of home. So this is connected to cancer, the sign of cancer. So this could actually be a question about your home. Should I move? Should I, should I not? Okay, should I do some kind of renovations? Should I stay in? Should I stay in tonight? Should I go out, for instance? Could also be a question about children, about feminine females in your life, descendant, invitation, yes, so this could be that you've been invited to go somewhere and you're wondering whether you should attend or where, maybe this is whether you should invite someone, whether you should be the one to extend that offer. Hmm, definitely I feel like there's contemplation about, yeah, some kind of event or move, some kind of transition here. Sagittarius, expand. So there's definitely, again, more moving energy coming through here. This definitely feels like, yeah, maybe even somebody's offered for you to go on vacation with them. Or maybe they're asking you to house sit for them whilst they go away somewhere, okay? There's so many ways in which this could be manifesting for your specific situation, of course. But again, this part of the reading is just helping you to know that this is the right pile for you. So if this is starting to make sense about your question and then stick with it because I will be getting to the yes or no momentarily. I'm just going to get a couple more cards on the surrounding energies about this share the love which is reverse and then strengthening bonds which is reversed as well so maybe you feel like if you were to either not invite someone or not accept the invitation that it's going to cause some kind of disharmony it could cause a rift in a friendship or could cause yet yeah, a bond to loosen in some way so yeah that could be why you're asking this question Okay, so let's get the tarot messages now to get your yes or no. Specifically here. So what are you being guided to do here? What is this outcome? Or maybe you're asking, will I get an invitation as well? That could be, hmm. But the, the descendant also represents other people, okay? It's the seventh house of relationships. Oftentimes it is romantic relationships, but it can be business as well as friends, okay? I really feel like this, this question you're asking about has some connection to 
like I said, your friends or maybe it'll impact your friends or somebody you are in a connection with, a partnership with, even a contract with, okay? So is this a yes or a no for you, group one? Is this a yes or a no? Eight of Cups. I feel like that one nearly came out a minute ago. But as I was talking, I put it back in because it didn't quite fall out. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is about walking away. But it's about detaching emotionally from the situation. So is this a yes or a no? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, we've got the offer coming through here with this page. But then this Three of Swords reverses like... A release of some kind of heartbreak or pain. The death card in reverse. Oh, this is definitely a tricky one. Even the devil on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is definitely something you've been ruminating over for quite some time. Or maybe it's just become very heightened for you. It feels like it's quite high pressure or high stakes right now. So maybe there is some kind of a time pressure to this question. Hence why you feel like you're really needing this answer. I feel like I'm actually going to have to get the yes or no deck. Hold on one second. Now, sometimes I get that straight clarity with the tarot, but I do feel for your situation, I definitely need some more specificity here because it does seem like it's quite up and down here. There's some kind of unfinished business and a potential issue that I see arising here, but... There's also this need to extend an offer or lend a hand in some form, but let's see. Is this a yes or a no for you? The question you're asking right now, group one, is this a yes or a no, please? Yes or a no? Let's give us a straight answers. Yes or a no? In the near future, okay. Yes or a no, please? Yes or no? Improving health. <laughs> communicate clearly okay we're going to take one more of these so here it is the no now I was going to say with this in the near future it feels like this is a no but it's a more of a not now but later so yeah I feel like this situation definitely needs to be put on hold for the moment I feel like you do need to detach from whatever this is and it may be that it's best to yeah step back to not take action right now or to not accept the invitation to stay in if that's what you're asking about okay but there needs to be clear communication in some way something about this maybe you would need to explain the reasons why in a certain way in order for there to be peace and harmony and in order to improve health in some way so I don't know if there is a health connection to your question but yes your overall answer to this is no but I, again I feel like this is not now but later is definitely a possibility. So maybe this is something as well that could potentially be rescheduled, okay? But it just feels like if you go go for it right now, I feel like it is gonna create some sort of disharmony, again, between friends or in some sort of capacity that's gonna bring about some, some issues that have happened previously, okay? But it's, it's like they're going to rear their ugly head. That's just what came through to me. Something's going to rear its ugly head. So yeah, you're, you're definitely being cautioned right now. Okay, so to take this as a no. So I hope that this was the no that you needed. I appreciate if it wasn't the no that you wanted, but I'm always going to tell you what I really feel, okay? So please do feel free to comment below if this did resonate. Would love to know what you think. Comment something yellow if it did, if you felt like feel like it helps and you don't want to write too much. Even just an emoji or even liking the video really does help and it helps me to know that I'm on the right path with these readings for you. So thank you so much in advance. And if you'd like to book a personalized reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Group number two. So let's take a look at whether this is a yes or a no for you. Whatever your question is, we're going to find the answers. Okay, but first, as I said earlier, I'm going to 
go into what energies I'm picking up on here so that at least you know that this pile is relevant to your question, okay? I won't spend too much time on this because again, I know that you're needing your answers soon, okay? So I will get to the point and keep these quite short, okay? But please bear with me because I'm just getting the energy so you know this is your reading. Now we had one fly out already before I could even read this first card. We've got Virgo Digest. So I definitely feel like this is a very urgent pile. Okay, I feel like you are really, really needing this answer. Um, maybe, yeah, it's quite a time-pressured question you're asking. Now we've got Celebrations. You are ready to bring in new and exciting things into your life. And the number five. Number five and the number six. So it's making me think of the fifth and the sixth house. The fifth house being the house of fun and celebrations, parties, events. And the sixth house being about routine and work and getting things done, completing things, organizing. So maybe there's something connected to these two aspects. You're wondering, should I focus on this area or this area? Should I focus on having fun celebrating something or should I you know, focus on more the more practical or responsible things that I need to do. That could be something you're wondering. Uh, transits, climate, and the number 55. So we've got 555 here. Now, five is the number of change and freedom. Okay, so I feel like your question is definitely connected to you feeling like you need to move in some way. You need to make a change, or you're wondering if something is going to change. Maybe this is about a love connection and you're wondering if there's going to be a switch. For some of you, you could be asking whether someone's going to give you a gift, whether someone's going to say happy birthday to you, or is going to celebrate your birthday with you, or some other kind of special anniversary or event. Maybe you're wondering whether you should extend and say happy birthday to someone, or whether you should buy them a gift, or <clears throat> excuse me, reach out to them in some way to celebrate with them. Maybe you're wondering, should I say thank you for something? Something about like these niceties between an exchange here is coming through. Okay, then we've got Aquarius, collaborate. So this being had the house connected to friends and big, large groups of people. Again, this could be about a festival, an event where there's a, yeah, a lot of people attending. Maybe it's to, even to do with an organization you're a part of or somewhere where you've got a membership to okay this can also be Aquarian energy of society but it can also represent social media so this could be also like should I like somebody's post should I engage with their social media should I send them a message or for instance should I respond to it again this really feels like obviously this isn't going to be for everybody but someone someone here I don't feel like it's more than one person like you're celebrating someone's birthday okay or it's something connected to a birthday that you're asking about because I'm just so drawn in with this present here okay but then this connection to social media as well okay and I mean if this is making sense by the way please comment something green like put, in, put a green emoji like a leaf or a green heart or a tree or something that lets me know that I'm on the right path and that this makes sense for you because I have no idea I love doing these yes or no's because they're always so different from pile to pile and from reading to reading and obviously questions can be so random and I just love that aspect to it but I still at the same time I'm always like does this make any sense so yeah please do comment below if it does okay so oh my god look at that five again that this is crazy I don't think I've seen this kind of number synchronicity in months months and months five 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 all the fives so yes, I feel like the situation is changing, okay? I'm gonna get to the specific yes or no in just a moment, okay? I just wanna get a couple more cards on the surrounding energies. But this is definitely feeling like a bit of a fight here. So yeah, I feel like there's an internal battle going on and maybe there's an external battle going on as well. It could be some kind of conflict. Maybe you're worried about it creating a conflict if you were to do something. But I mean, this two of wands here is about making a choice and standing firm in your choice. So whatever you choose to do, regardless of this reading, you're definitely being guided to remain grounded, to be strong and courageous with whatever you choose to do, to stand strong in your convictions about it. OK, so if you decide to go for it or to accept whatever it is, you really have to stand strong in that. OK, that's just a clear message that's coming through. OK, but one more card, please. This 
about this situation. Oh, we've got the Fool here, the Trust card in reverse. Okay, now this is about not making a hasty decision. Okay, so you're definitely being guided not to leap without looking. Because this situation may feel like, you may feel like you want to be very impulsive about it. But I definitely feel like you're being guided to hold back for a moment. To wait for it to digest, like when you're eating food. Okay, it's like if you, if you eat a super big meal and then decide to go for a run, nine times out of ten, you're going to end up being sick or getting ill or indigestion or a stitch you know it's not going down well because you've not given it time to digest okay the same with inspiration with ideas with action sometimes we need to make those impulsive movements otherwise we'll never do it but it does feel like there's this need to like yeah hold it back for a moment to reevaluate, to let it all digest first and then to make your decision because i feel like you'll make it a, a more grounded decision once you've taken some time if you rush into it you'll f I feel like you'll make a mistake okay so is this a yes or a no let's see yes or no straight up please tarot is this a yes or a no and if I don't get a straight up yes or no with these cards I will use the yes or no deck okay which I've got right here so we've got the four of cups the moon is this a yes or a no for you is this a yes or a no? We've got three of ones now. So we've got Pisces energy. We've got a couple of threes here. I already know what this is. This feels like a yes to me. And I was feeling this energy, especially when this card came out. <clears throat> I feel like this is a yes, but... <coughs> Excuse me. The same advice applies to what I was saying a moment ago about not rushing into it. Allows some time. Like you may even like feel a little bit restless, a bit bored, a bit like, oh, I need to do something now. But I feel like if you're able to maybe even sleep on it for some of you, like again, that might be something you're tentative to do for some reason, but it feels like there's this need to sleep on it to allow yourself to go into this dream state first. Because it's like you can't see things clearly at this moment in time, and there needs to be a rest period. There needs to be a time when you are going into this 5D reality a little bit, okay, and then to come back down to earth and make your decision, okay, because this is all very practical earth energy here at the end, three of pentacles, so this feels like collaboration, and you'll be, you'll be, you'll be able to work on something well with another person here, after there's been a little bit of time, a little bit of space, okay, because it's like, think about a fire if there's a fire and you're trying to keep the fire burning you're trying to keep it alive you want to gently blow on it and then you want to create a bit of space okay because that helps the fire to grow it's like if you blow on it too hard it can end up going out okay so it feels like you creating a bit of space and a bit of distance here is actually going to help you in terms of being able to move forwards and to build upon something here okay so whatever you feel like you're fighting against like, it's okay, it's okay to feel this way, but that's your body letting you know that there needs to be a little bit of space to allow yourself to come to a calm place and then to progress forwards. But this is a yes, this is what I'm sensing for you. So again, if it makes sense, please comment a green emoji below or write down what you think, but just without giving it away, whether it's a yes or a no, obviously for future watchers, I would be very grateful to know your thoughts and don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Group number three. So let's take a look at whether this is a yes or a no for you. Okay, so as I stated in the beginning, I'm going to be looking at the surrounding energies connected to your question first. So we're going to outline as to whether this actually is the right pile for you. So please stick around. I will get to the yes or no momentarily. I'm going to keep these readings nice and short. Okay, but just so you have that clarity that this is the right pile, we're just going to check in with what your question is connected to. Okay, so we have key, new beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. And then transits, climate. So we've got the number 55 here and the number 15. So a few fives coming through. So what is this question, this yes or no question? What is this yes or no question you're asking? Okay, so now we have Cancer emerge. So this is connected to emotions and the moon. <laughs> the moon, as I said that, look, we have the moon. Wow. Okay. 
very strong moon energy coming through. I mean, you could be watching this very late at night, okay? Could be you're watching this around the full moon as well. Okay, could be the moon, like for some of you, I'm seeing that light shining through. And I know this may not be connected to your actual question, but I'm seeing light shining through right now, like as you're watching this. So yeah, this could be moonlight, could be sunlight, obviously, depending on what time of day you're watching this, but something about light coming through here. Now, in a more metaphorical sense, this may be about light being shed in your life, okay, on certain situations or matters you've been confused about, okay? For some of you, I'm picking up that this could be about a home, okay, like moving in, are you going to get the keys to somewhere? There's a key and a lock here. So this could be, yes, am I going to get this house? Am I going to be accepted for this mortgage? Am I going to be accepted for this rental? Or am I going to relocate? Or will I move in with somebody? Or will they move in with me? Should I give my key to someone? Okay, so it could be, like I said, connected to a home for some of you. But the moon also represents divine feminine energy. So this could be a question about a female in your life. It could be a family member, specifically a motherly figure, but it could also be a child or even a romantic partner or a friend, okay? But it's definitely very closely connected to the feminine, to Cancer, to the energy of Pisces as well. There's definitely a very spiritual feel to your reading group three. So I already feel like you're a very... Um, highly intuitive person, okay? I feel like you're picking up a lot right now, empathically. You may be feeling quite sensitive and you may be feeling the need to cry a lot at the moment. Or some of you may even be feeling a bit dehydrated, I'm picking up on here, like you're needing to drink more water. Now, that's just a side note. I'm sure it has nothing to do with your question. Maybe it does for some of you, but I just feel like that's something I've been guided to tell you, to drink more water and to use the element of water to help heal you as well. So like taking a salt ritual bath, okay? You know, just simply lighting a candle or imagining the water coming out of the shower head as being white light that's cleansing you in some way. You know, or dipping yourself in the water, in the sea or in a swimming pool. You know, think about when people are baptized. They, their head gets submerged under the water or water is poured over the water over the head because it signifies birth and new life okay so maybe that oh that that could also be something here you're wondering are you going to be getting pregnant or are you going to have more children it could be something connected to children or to even your stomach area or something about a birth into something new, maybe again, even a relationship, or again, a key in a lock signifies a new beginning, like buying a home, moving in somewhere signifies a new beginning for you. Okay, so we've got conquer your fears in reverse. So again, a lot of watery energy coming through, a lot of pain and sadness. I do feel like you are leaving in the past now, group three, okay? There is a cleansing going on here on an emotional and a spiritual level, okay? Your angels and guides want you to know that, that they're very close to you right now. And I actually feel like you can sense them much being much closer to you at this time okay maybe you're noticing the lights flickering or you're getting goosebumps um, or you're sensing like or feeling things moving in your home or sensing an energy shift or a change going on okay but it's they're just letting you know that they're here to support you through these changes through these new beginnings that you're experiencing or about to go through okay we've got the listen card here in reverse which is interesting so yeah, it's like that there's this need, ha, huh, interesting, the, the Virgo energy, the seat card coming through as well. Yeah, there's a need to step into, oh my God, the light. You've been in some kind of darkness here, I feel, group three, and it's, it's like maybe there's someone coming in, or again, there's an offer here that's on the table, and you're just, maybe you're feeling skeptical, or you're worried that it's not going to go in your favor, because maybe you've had so many failures previously, or things haven't gone your way, so, you know, there's a, there's a fear there, a deep-rooted fear that why would this one work out, or something, okay, but it's like you're being guided to lean into the positive, to step into this, this new beginning, okay, to not shy away, so maybe this is something you're wondering as well, should I take this leap? Should I step out there? Should I offer something? You know, should I even, for instance, stepping into the spotlight in some way? 
Maybe you've been thinking about posting something online or going for a promotion or setting up a new profile or I don't know, something about being seen rather than always being in the shadows, okay? So I'm really gonna get to the specific yes or no now. I'm gonna ask the tarot first. If I don't feel I've got specific clarity, I'm going to ask the yes or no deck. So don't worry, you will have your yes or no. Okay, so we've got the page of cups in reverse. We've got the queen of swords. Is this a yes or a no for you right now? Group number three, is this a yes or a no? Wow, the 10 of pentacles and the eight of cups. Okay, I'm going to need this deck too, so I'm going to shuffle these whilst I explain. Now, again, there's a lot connected to your emotions here. This question, I feel like, has your emotions riding on it, like, quite heavily. Okay, like, you really are feeling like you need answers. But almost like, you, I feel like you don't want to go backwards in some way, so maybe that's why you're needing clarity. But in some way, you're headed towards some sort of stability here, okay? This could be a sense of financial freedom or buying that dream home of yours, okay? Feeling very safe and secure, or this could even be getting married, okay? Something where you're like reaching the very top or the top of your career, but it's coming off the back of you expressing yourself, you verbally expressing yourself more so, group three. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe, again, this was something that happened before, like you were torn down when you tried to be openly expressive or, or to give your opinions or to say your piece, but it feels like it's your key to success is to actually be more open, okay, with your words, to not shy away from what you really think, but to also not get too emotional about it. It's, this is like a very logical energy, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, she thinks about things in that kind of logical, analytical way, rather than in an emotional way or a passionate way. It's like, these are the facts, let's move forwards with it, okay? So maybe this is also something you're being guided to do, is to think and to speak in a more factual, analytical way at this moment in order to achieve what you need. Okay, but is this a yes or a no? Let's get that clarity. Group three, yes or no? Meditation brings answers. And I'm not surprised that's come out for you because of you being such an incredibly spiritual group. Okay, regardless of this reading, you will get answers yourself if you take some time to meditate, okay? Even after this reading, close this down when you're done and have some time. Just sit there with being in the present moment, allow your thoughts to come, come and go as they please, but the answers will come to you, okay? And we have yes, which I'm not surprised at. I was getting a bit of a feeling it was gonna be a yes. So there it is, it makes sense, okay? Because again, maybe this is what you've been waiting. Should I make this move? Should I express myself? Should I focus on this area? Should I leave my emotions in the past, all of this. This is definitely a yes, but here we've got get more information, okay? So it may be that there needs to be a little bit of a delay before you actually go ahead, okay? Maybe you need to emotionally detach first before you can progress forwards. Or maybe, like I said, you need to find more answers first through meditation, or, and then the thing is, meditation may not bring you the, the di direct answers, but they may lead you to the answers indirectly. So you may meditate and, for instance, maybe a friend's name pops into your mind and you feel like it's not connected, but you think, oh, I haven't spoken to them in a while, I'm gonna reach out. Then you reach out to them, you end up having a conversation and they may give you these answers that you've been looking for, okay? So don't discount anything that comes up in meditation as not being the answers that you need because this is what happens when you follow your inner guidance, your inner intuition, and it'll lead you to those answers that you really need, okay? So I really hope that this resonates for you. If it does, please comment something red, comment a red emoji, anything of your choice. Or of course you can comment something more detailed, just please don't give away whether it's a yes or a no for obviously the new watchers, <clears throat> okay? Um, but leaving a red emoji does let me know that this has made sense and I really love doing these yes or no readings. So if you did enjoy them, I would love to know and please tell me to keep doing them because I just love how diverse they always are. <laughs> it keeps it interesting for me and I hope it does for you too. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Okay, group number four. Let's take a look at whether this is a yes 
or a no for you. Any question on your mind? So as I stated in the beginning, I'm going to be looking at the surrounding energies connected to your question first, because this will give you the clarity that this is the right pile for you. And then in no time at all, I will get to your specific yes or no. So I'm keeping these readings nice and short today. So do not panic. I will get to your yes or no as soon as possible. Okay. So what is your question connected to group four? What is your question connected to? So interesting that we've got owl and then Libra. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. And Libra here, we've got double air coming through here because owls of course would be represented by the element of air being birds and flying through the air. So it feels like this is definitely something that's been up in your mind for quite some time okay and I feel like you've been trying to weigh everything up okay looking at the pros and cons of it you probably be probably have been writing lots of pros and cons lists you know trying your best to really discern whether this is something you should do something you shouldn't do whether something can work out whether it won't it's it's a challenge for you okay now this may be connected to a relationship okay with Libra this can represent a partnership in romance or in business okay so it could even be related to a work contract for some of you now we've got the ninth house here energy of Sagittarius so this could also be connected to travel okay to travel long distance to higher learning in some way maybe some of you are wondering whether you should take on a new course whether you should learn something whether you should go on a trip whether you should travel somewhere, relocate even, or maybe this is even dealing with a client, for instance, that's overseas, Ooh, or even a long distance love relationship. Maybe wondering, is this going to work out? For some of you are wondering, should I fly to go and see someone? Should I, yeah, make the move to go and visit them? Or you're asking, will they come to visit me? Okay, because I'm definitely seeing like this back and forth energy. Again, maybe wondering, will this back and forth actually work? We've also got the number seven that's come through a couple of times here. So this may be a number in connection to it. Maybe that's a specific date you're wondering about. Maybe you're watching this on the seventh or you've been seeing sevens a lot in synchronicity. Okay, now we have the second house, resources. So yes, this very well could be connected to your money, okay? Maybe you're wondering, should I buy something? Should I buy something? Should I invest in something? Hmm, will I win something? Now the second house does represent money, but it's also possessions. Hence why this could be about actually purchasing something. Maybe this could even be, is it worth it? If I travel, maybe this is something like you really want, but you'd have to travel far to get. Like, will it be worth it if I travel all that way to get it? But this could also be connected to your self-esteem, okay? You may feel like in order to make yourself feel better or secure, like you need to do something, that you need to travel somewhere or you need to own something that makes you feel like you are worthy in some way. Okay, because that's how the finances becomes connected to our sense of value within ourselves and our sense of self-esteem. Okay, so there is, seem, does seem to be a connection to that in reference to your question. Okay, but let's see what else is coming through here and then I'll get to your yes or no. What is your question about here, group four? What is your question about? change your focus it feels like there's something here that you've had to let go of okay or, or again maybe you're questioning maybe you're wondering should I sell something even should I sell something but it's like there's a need to like purge something emotionally to let go oh and just as I started saying that I got this pain and it went right through my back but like like it pierced my heart oh my god just like this arrow here I've had this once or twice in readings before um, it's not very nice for obvious reasons. Oh, I just got it again. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I don't know. For some of you, I don't know. There could actually be physical pains, back pains or heart pains or yeah, something in your chest. But it feels like 
there's a deeper root to this. Like it's the stress of this situation. Again, maybe it's a legal situation. You might be wondering, will I win a legal battle or will I have to move? Will I need to travel overseas to get away from it, even for some of you? Okay, but there's definitely some sort of release, some sort of a release of emotional trauma, emotional baggage. Now, a decision is going to be made. That's something you may be asking. Will a decision be made? Will I make a decision? Hmm. But again, it feels like there's like this travel, there's this path ahead of you, but then there's an obstacle in the way. Healing begins. Yeah, it feels like there's this need to go backwards in a sense. Or like maybe you feel like you're going backwards. You're not actually moving forwards the way that you want to be. Like you're you're wanting a change. You're wanting freedom. But yeah, something is bringing you back. Okay, maybe even for some of you, I don't know if it's a criminal record, whether it's yours or someone else's. I know this will be very specific. Okay, and obviously this isn't going to fit for everybody. For someone, it might be a criminal record is, caught, is an obstacle to traveling somewhere. Okay. Okay, but it could be, like I said, or a relationship or something, some kind of responsibility is getting in the way here. But let's just see, is this a yes or a no? Is this a yes or a no, group four? Is this a yes or a no? We've got the nine of cups. So I'm going to pull these tarot and then I'm going to get the specific yes or no if I don't feel I've got full clarity. Okay, we've got the sun. Is this a yes or a no? king of wands hmm this is feeling like a yes to me especially with that sun there but i do want to get these anyways clarity because yeah i just feel like i need that for you hmm yeah before i say any more let me just see is this a yes or a no please group number four is this a yes or a no for your question is this a yes or a no opportunity yes there it is there is the confirmation so this is a yes okay to whatever you have been asking yes so again maybe you've been asking is this going to provide a positive result will i get what i need i mean the sun is joy okay and the fact we've got opportunity here there is an opportunity for some sort of growth but it's like i don't know there's this sense of you having this wish and then the wish kind of being dashed in a sense and you feeling like you don't have as many options but then it's almost through lack of options that brings about this joy in a way, which I know must not make a lot of sense, okay? But that's just the energy that I'm getting. Something about a lack of options opens up a new window of opportunity. But I guess sometimes if you feel like you're stuck or you've got no options, you may have to find a different way, a way you didn't think was possible. Like, for instance, if you had all of these options in the world, you may not be seeking out something different. But the fact that you may feel like your hands are tied, you have to think in an unconventional way, which then leads you to something very positive. And I feel like there is a connection to Leo season. So it may be something connected to the situation is going to wrap up or it's going to resolve or initiate in the in the leo season um but also you've got this dominant masculine energy coming through this male here who i feel like is going to be of some kind of help they may be the one that's actually offering something or whether it's offering their support or their guidance but it definitely feels like some kind of help like they really want to lend a, an, a hand here and there's like a protective energy around them like they want to kind of protect you and help you through this situation so it definitely feels like it's going to work out in your favor here okay but regardless if this message did resonate with you please do comment a purple emoji any emoji of your choice of course but it just lets us know that it made sense without giving away whether it was a yes or a no but of course feel free to leave a more detailed answer just we want to make sure for anybody that's watching that hasn't seen it yet that then it's not given away um so i appreciate that in advance okay and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me the link to my website is below i do hope you have a lovely rest of your day bye for now okay group number five let's take a look at whether this is a yes or a no for you and just remember, as I stated in the beginning of the video, that this, I, that I will be going into the surrounding energies of your question first, okay? So we'll be looking at roughly what your question is so you can gain clarity that this, this is the right pile for you. But it won't take me long before I get to the yes or no, okay? 
Now that's interesting, isn't it, group five? Because we've got two snakes here. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. And then Mercury messages. Okay, but we've got the snakes intertwined here. So, which is very interesting. So, I know obviously snakes, especially in Western culture, can have a negative connotation, you know, the snakes in the grass and you can't trust a snake. So obviously, but it depends, you know, snakes can also be revered in certain cultures and seen, you know, as highly, um, what's the word? Revered is what came through to me before, so we'll stick with that, okay? But so obviously it depends on your own perception of snakes, but... Yeah, there's something here I feel like about being sneaky here that maybe you're asking about. Okay, so we've got now got the first house, energy of Aries. Huh. So the first house is about the first impression, the overall first impression, maybe the first impression you've made upon someone. Maybe you're wondering what someone thinks of you, whether they like you or not, whether they trust you or whether you trust someone, okay, you may be curious, because maybe they appear one way or the outside, but you just don't feel like they're always being honest or authentic with you, okay, now, this can be connected to physical appearance as well, like I said, in a lot of ways, because obviously that's the first thing we notice in terms of physical appearance, in terms of the first impression, it's appearance first, and then it's what the person says, their body language, etc., etc., so I don't know, maybe you're wondering whether you should make a change to your appearance or whether somebody likes your appearance, whether you, I don't know, whether somebody perceives you in a particular way or like I said, whether you perceive someone in a particular way. But this could also be, you might be asking whether somebody's watching you, like whether somebody's stalking you, whether somebody still has their eye on you because I'm really drawn in with all three of these cards. The eyes, okay, seem to be hyper-focused here. So, yeah, you could be asking about that. Now we've got the second house and the seventh house. Okay, so the seventh house rules relationships, more so romantic partnerships, but it can also be about business relationships. But then the second house is about money, okay, and buying certain things. Maybe this is something like, will I have enough money to buy something to change my appearance okay maybe there's some a, a certain item that you want to buy that you can wear or maybe this is about surgery for some of you something cosmetic an enhancement of some kind like will it work for me will it look good on me will somebody pay for it for me for instance will i get support from a partner will it attract a new partner towards me if i make more money will this attract a partner Okay, or if I attract a partner, will I make more money or will money be better? I don't know. Maybe even asking, does someone have as much money as they let on? Could be. This is definitely an interesting pile for sure. It's, uh, it's not being as clear, I would say, about what the question is. So it might be quite a lot of you are watching this or maybe not that many of you. I don't know, but it feels like... This is definitely one of the more confusing piles. But again, I feel like the snake energy, there is definitely something kind of deceptive here, something that's hidden. So I feel like you're kind of right on the money there, okay, in terms of like your suspicions or in terms of your your potential doubts here about maybe someone's intentions or maybe somebody somebody's promises. Maybe you're wondering, you know, if somebody's making false promises or whether they're actually going to follow through on certain things. Um, maybe this is about a deal, okay? Is this deal going to fall through or is it going to come to anything could be is someone trying to steal something from me are they trying to steal something from under me did they steal something from me that could even be something you're asking about okay what is this question you're asking what is this question so just going to get a couple more cards of clarity about what this is and then i'm going to get to the yes or no so we've got healing begins six of swords in reverse which is interesting challenging times Hmm. I feel like this is definitely causing you a lot of conflict right now, group five. <clears throat> okay, I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of, you're internalizing all of this, okay, right now. There's stress coming through here, major stress. I feel like you, you're you stressing yourself out a lot in your own mind about this situation. Again, maybe this is about money, 
more related to, you know, we've got the base chakra here, which is about the physical, the practical things, about being grounded. So, like, yeah, you may be wondering, yeah, something like, should I buy something or will I receive a certain amount of money? Maybe that's something like this could be a payout of some kind, okay? Yeah, or a bonus or maybe even just your regular pay could be something like that. You felt like there's been a delay about, okay? Or there's something about going backwards here. It could be connected to Mercury retrograde. I'm still, I say I'm still in Mercury retrograde, but I mean, as I'm recording this, it's still Mercury retrograde. But you could be watching this months later, for instance. But the energy will still be coming through into this reading. So there's something about this need to go backwards and review something from the past. There's a need for a reevaluation here. So maybe this is something that you're needing to do before making a move one way or the other moving forwards. Okay, but it definitely feels like, yeah, there's all of this internal internal intensity. And I feel like this is why you're here right now, group five, because you just need to know. It's like, is this a yes or a no? Then I can relax. I can just let it go one way or the other. Okay, but let's just get this clarity now. Is this a yes or a no? Is this a yes or a no for you right now? Okay, we have the sun. Is this a yes or a no for you? We've got the devil. The King of Wands, interesting. And the unknown card. One more, please, Spirit. And then I'll look at the yes or no deck. I mean, the Sun card here can oftentimes represent a yes. Okay, but I feel like I do need more clarity before I speak to that because, especially with the Devil, there's this obsessive energy, a possessive energy. And something about this situation is unknown. And I feel like to a point is meant to be left unknown in some realm, okay? It's like you're not meant to have all of the answers just yet. It may be that there is a need to sleep on it. Although I do feel like it's giving you a great deal of anxiety, okay? Hence why, again, I feel like you're here, you're needing those answers, okay? But let's just get that final clarity for you. Is this a yes or a no to whatever you are asking right now, group five? Is this a yes or a no, please? Is this a yes or a no, please, spirit? Is this a yes or a no? So we have opportunity. Is this a yes or a no? Don't stop, okay? Take action. Okay, one more, please, spirit. One more. Is this a yes or a no? remain positive okay so even though we haven't had the specific yes or no out of this deck okay i still feel like this is a yes okay i am sensing that with the sun here in the upright the take action the don't stop okay it's like whatever you're being guided to do here you are being guided to remain positive though okay don't allow yourself to sink into any kind of anxiety or worry or doubts about this allow yourself to feel free in this decision okay or in this choice or whatever this yes or no relates to okay or this yes for you it's time to take action so maybe this is something as well that you've been wondering should I finish this or should I go back to this okay something maybe that was left unfinished or incomplete and it's time for you to take action to complete this to make it happen and there's some kind of positive opportunity that's coming your way and I actually feel like this is connected to the mercury card here in the beginning I feel like there's a message coming through or an email some kind of electronic correspondence okay that's coming through to you after you initiate some form of action so it's like you initiate this change you get the ball rolling here and then you will receive the answers that you need okay group five so if this did resonate with you i would love to know how it did please comment something white a white emoji of some kind like eyes or a white heart or a white bird something that lets us know that it made sense for you okay but without giving away to new eyes whether this was a yes or a no so i very much appreciate to know if it made sense um of course you can leave a more detailed answer just don't give the yes or no part away please and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me the link to my website is below i do hope you have a lovely rest of your day bye for now